you got what you asked for. I feel like Victoria had said something like that in one interview we did or something. She was like, I think it would be cool if like Sierra came back and she was just like, And I didn't remember who the fuck are you? And I don't remember you and blah, blah, blah. And what do you know? Came to yeah. fruition. So. I didn't know it was going to end up like, it wasn't supposed to be like this when I had initially manifested it. I just wanted Sierra to be like an evil villainous character who stirs up trouble in Salem when I had talked about it. Um, and I was mostly joking too, but it kind of manifested itself into existence. For me, it was interesting because I kind of reverted to Sierra from three years ago. The Sierra I played when I first got here and I was fresh in the show and, and I kind of tried to, I even tried to manipulate my voice to sound higher and more childish in some scenes just because that's who I was waking up as and Sierra has done so much growing. She transformed into a woman over these past couple of years and also just, it's been so long since Ben and Sierra started and their love has been so unwavering, unwaveringly strong that it, it, was, it was interesting to look at you with like pure fear and hate. I mean, any chance to kind of switch things up here and, you know, tell a different story and reinvent, you know, we need we need reinvention. We know even even for us only doing this for a few years together, it's like, which even that is crazy to think it's more than, it's like been three years. Yeah. The, the true story with this couple, I believe, is always the fight to get their forbidden love. I don't know if they'll ever be sitting in the house with 50 kids just eating cookies all the time. I think they're always going to have obstacles and have to fight for this, like, forbidden love. So. You say 50 kids? <laughs> Did I say 50? I mean, if we're gonna have kids, we're gonna have a lot of them. Probably oh 50. Oh my god. Oh, 15. I meant 15. 15. 15. That's still a lot of little <laughs> rugrats running around. Hope you ate your Wheaties. Oh god. <laughs>It wasn't too long ago that I got the script, actually. I read it like four days ago, um, yeah. and we just shot it. Today. So it's, today, so it's- Like an hour ago. So it's still pretty fresh. It's powerful, is what I'll say. Exactly what she said. It's a payoff. It's a payoff for the, the characters. It's a payoff, um, you know, obviously me feeling defensive for Ben, you know, going through this and fighting for this for so long. Mm -hmm. So many times we thought we had her back and to finally have her and really that that payoff um, I know the fans really deserve it and really wanted it. Yeah. You know, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited for, for the our sinners. Our sinners. Limo is awesome uh, to yeah. come up to the set, uh, you know, our studio, it's always nice to get new sets here and they do a really beautiful job and we've actually had more new sets come up recently, which is really great, but um, yeah, man, I, I, I really like the idea of, you know, pulling a stunt like that to get your love back and uh, it was just really fun to come in here and see, you know, a big stretch limo put up in, in our other stage over here and lit up the way it was and every all hands on deck and anytime I see our, one of our cameramen, Mark, with a hand uh, over the shoulder cam, I know we're doing something special. Yeah. And uh, luckily enough, we've been a part of that a few times, so uh, to see Mark with the over, the over the shoulder camera and the limo was pretty exciting. You know you're onto something good. Um, driver? You just missed the turn. Hello? This isn't the way to the church, excuse me. That's because we aren't going to the church. Ben? Happy anniversary, Sierra. Coming back here cabin. to the cabin space. This is where we met. Like, this is literally where Ben and Sierra met. This is where Victoria and Rob met. Like, this cabin. Yeah. So, full circle. Interesting. Yeah, it was a good nod from the writers to, to kind of implement this whole dynamic with the cabin and freshened it up, if you can tell. Yeah. It's freshened up. I love the cauldron so, situation. Yeah. It's, and the chandelier. Guys, take a peek at the chandelier if you can see it. It's so cool. It's nice. I have to stop myself from getting on it and swinging from it, like, see ya. Why are you stopping? Get up I don't up want there. to get sued. Do you want help? I don't want to. <laughs> I'll get mean, you up. Sure. After, after the camera's cut. Right. We'll check that first. We'll check that first. <laughs>
It's been an absolute pleasure. He is a blast to work with. I actually have worked with him before and I completely forgot we worked together on a Lifetime film and uh, it was brought to my attention by the fans recently. So that's cool that we kind of met again in Hollywood. But yeah, Theo hasn't been present in Salem in a really long time so it was nice to get that character back because he does mean a lot to Sierra and her history. You know, they have been best friends since they were kids and there is tons of footage of them playing together when they were, you know, five years old. And Theo was an important character for me, my portrayal of Sierra when I first got here, um, right before he was sent to South Africa and whatnot. Yeah, it's been it's been an absolute pleasure. I think he's great. Yeah, I mean, I've, anybody who's gonna come in between like the Ben and Sierra story is uh, is up for a challenge. So it's like the way it happened, it was it was wild, man. I mean, he, he got thrown into a crazy situation, and I think yeah. he handled it really well. And uh, it was great to work with. Him. It was great to work with. Him. I can yeah. tell you, like, rehearsing has been probably the biggest pain in the ass here. I mean, we do it no matter what. We, we get it done on the FaceTime, time. but, like, it just it's sucks having to do it, like, not being able to go face to face, especially when we have the amount of stuff that we do here. But it's the times that we live in. We gotta, we gotta roll with the punches. And I'm blessed to be able to have a job and, and work in the first exactly, place. Exactly, exactly. You know? So um, it's like. But it's challenging. It's challenging. Especially, you know, once we get to set, we don't have much time to get in that headspace. So we have to just try our best and see where the chips fall. Ready, and action. Oh my god. What is it? I remember. Doing this stuff and being able to trust each other and do good work and mm. I don't know. I like having you here. Yeah. It's nice having you back. Oh, thanks, Ken. Thanks Very for, fun. Thanks for hanging. Thanks. That was painfully uncoordinated. Wait. <laughs> okay, that's, that shit. that's That's the, the shit. best part. <laughs> <laughs> I think that the way Ben and Sierra love each other is the way that everyone dreams about being loved. So when you see it, you're like, man, I wish someone loved me like that, you know? So I think a lot of the fans and people who, who watch it love seeing that purity and like wholesome devotion. And they identify with it and ultimately like live vicariously through it. So I think that's why Ben and Sierra's love really resonates with the audience. It's in love. I, mean, I don't even know. I mean, I want, I just, I, I love, I love the challenge for us. I just yeah. want us to be challenged. I want us to be able to do good work because both of us just want to do good work. Mm. Um, Perhaps yeah. a travel shoot. That's what I hope for. Yeah, if we can, yeah, maybe a little travel too. That would be nice. Let them go to Italy. Fafanopoli, yeah. Let's go. Let's manja, go. manja. I'm down. We go to Italy. This spaghetti. Um, that would be fantastic. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just, yes, yeah, so maybe a little honeymoon for them. Maybe some, maybe some, maybe a little lovey dovey. Maybe let them settle into each other a little bit again after being away after for, for so long. After a year of being trapped in a glass they, box. I think they deserve that. At I think this they need point, that. yeah, they deserve at least um, one day. Of at happiness. least a day. Um, <laughs> one day. They didn't even get to have their wedding night, so. <laughs> this couple has been through the ringer, man. I think they deserve a little bit of happiness. Maybe a bit of a Bonnie and Clyde dynamic. Something where they can fight something together instead mm. of against each other. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah. We've done that gang of that, but maybe a fresh <laughs> version. A fresh one, yeah. Uh -huh. Like a ninja type. Ninja? Ninja. Ninja? <laughs> like, All I right. want them. I don't know. I thought we were leaning into like the Mr. and Mrs. Smith thing, but if you want well, to go Ninja true. Turtles, I'm Are down. Are they not Ninja Turtles? Yeah, we can go a little turtle action. Okay. Turtle power? Absolutely. <laughs> we love you guys so much um thank you for being loyal fans i know this has been a difficult journey um thank you for sticking with us the payoff will be great and it's coming soon so 
Keep Stay on, tuned. Keep on sinning on. <laughs> keep on sinning. Keep on sinning and winning. Keep on uh, sinning and winning. Yeah. Like she said, uh, yeah. thank you guys for, for riding out with us and going along for the journey. And uh, man, it's been a wild one, but the payoff is there. It is there. Uh, the one that'll make the sinners happy and um, made us happy. And, um, you know, it's just the beginning of our journey still. It's mm -hmm. getting started. So we'll uh, be along for it as long as you are. So stay tuned. <laughs>